Shalom, Israel. This is Sister Kana. Uh, first and foremost, I have to give all glory and praise to Ahaya Shahaya, Bahashim Yeshaya, Wa Kodash Wak. To Wa Bawakwa, Yashavala. That's good morning, Israel, in ancient Phoenician Hebrew. Okay, guys, I, it's Friday, so I don't have to go to the office, um, today because it's off. So I just wanted to come and talk to you because I've been running around all week and I hadn't had time to really make videos or anything. So I just wanted to take this time and excuse me, but I'm going to have my morning breakfast, a smoothie, which is uh, apple, banana, kiwi, orange, um, some nuts, a dribble of uh, date syrup. And that's my morning breakfast. So it's kind of early. I get up really early. So it may be like 7 a.m. And I've been up for a couple of hours because I, you know, I get up pretty early. So, but I wanted to talk to you about a few things. And I know I had put in another video, like, let's talk or something like that. And I never really got to do it. But I just want, wanted to kind of like touch bases on, you know, everything. You know, um, I'm glad to do these type of videos about, um, you know, the life in the day in Jordan, a beautiful day in Jordan, and these episodes, just showing you my day-to-day, -day. I'm going to work, I'm working on things, you know, trying to put things together, praise Ahaya, and he is just making some amazing things happen, and I will, you know, as I go along, I'll show you, you know, exactly what's going on, but, uh, you know, of course, I have to talk to you about you know, the things that need to be talked about in this current events and what's going on in the news and, you know, how try to give our people some insight, biblical, from a biblical aspect and from a Hebrew Israelite perspective. And so, you know, I will try to take time to do that. And I said in some of my other episodes that I was going to talk about the news and things like that, but it's, I'm so busy that I don't even have time to like, you know, focus in on that. I just really want to say hi, let you know things are going well, and, you know, kind of continue what I'm doing. So I'll take this time today to go into certain things. So, you know, I hope you guys stay with me and just, you know, if you want to leave comments on what you think in your perspective, praise the higher Bahasha Mishaya. Okay, so there's a few things like y'all know what's going on in the news. And y'all see, you know, the mass shootings that they are, you know, orchestrating these things just so they could change the guns, gun laws and then they can, uh, you know, disarm the people so that when these troops start coming knocking on your door, you know, they, um, you'll be ready. I mean, they'll be ready to just take people down, you know, opposed to having these gun battles. You know, so they'd rather just take the guns. So basically, that's what all these mass shootings about. The school, you know, they just overloading on this stuff, ODing on this stuff. Uh, you know, so that they can speed up the process and get Americans, you know, unarmed. Because they will be using those hollow point um, bullets that they purchased, okay, years ago. That you know they put out about how um, America or Homeland Security purchased like a certain amount of million or billion um, hollow point bullets. So we see why they needed them and it's coming soon. So I just wanted to like, you know, sh you know, talk about that with people and let you know, bring that back to remembrance because there's so much going on that they try to like, you know, keep you distracted and all this stuff, but we must stay focused. And brothers and sisters, you must come out of Babylon and get within the borders because we are in the midst of Jacob's trouble and it's only getting worse. Okay, so I just wanted to bring that out. Also, you know, talking about, um, you know, and I've been posting on my Gathering in Jordan channel of all the women that are being um, killed. And it's just not only the women, even men are being killed, but that's been normal. Black men have been getting killed by each other for the last decade. You know, the crime, black on black crime violence is horrendous in America. But, you know... Now it has um, gone over to women. You know, black men are really killing women and um, their wives, their girlfriends, their cousins, their friends, anybody who's associated with it. You know, our brothers are, are 
you know, being so destructive that they're killing the women and children. There's a lot of rape and molestation. I mean, this stuff has been going on for ages, but now because of the information is open, we can all see, you know, who's the perpetrators and what's going on. And it's just horrendous. And this is why the Most High is bringing destruction on um, Israel the way he is. He said, he, you know, he will start at the house of Israel because of such wickedness and disregard for his Lord's statute commandments. People don't even want to come back to the Most High. Like, they just so disoriented, destructive, driven, like they're not even trying to come back to a higher, a sure higher. They know certain things and they, they don't even care, brothers and sisters. And so the wickedness is at an all time high. Hell has definitely enlarged itself. And the mother's going to, I mean, the most high, a higher is going to bring down the hammer. Okay. He's bringing it down. And so we see all this destruction and we're like, oh, why, why, why? It's because the children of Israel refuse. They refuse to come back to the father. They refuse. And I'm talking about, I'm not only talking about the ones who are asleep and who haven't awakened because the Most High is not even awakening them because of sin. You know, because of the sin that they're perpetrating in their lives on a daily basis, Ahia is not even waking them up. Because he, it's Ahia's choice. He's picking and choosing. He's sifting through Israel. So people who are not waking up, it's because of that is not pleasing to the Most High. He's only waking up those that he can feel he can use. And he gives them a trial and test to see if they can even, um, you know, pass. And if they can't pass, he's moving on and waking up another group. This is how it's going down. Praise the Highland. You know, his, his, uh, you know, his righteousness is amazing and he is the author and the finisher of all things and he's the one who's deciding and he's the one who's picking and choosing so you know the the depths of of sin and iniquity and you know destruction is on the heads of our people and they are refusing to turn their lives around even he says it in the bible he said, they love me with much talking, but their hearts are far from me. They, he said that they'll know, and I'm paraphrasing, but y'all know these scriptures. Well, you should know. He said that they, they know that there's an awakening. They see the truth and they still refuse to turn and, and, you know, repent for their sins. They're not doing it, brothers and sisters. So we can, people can blame the white man, the white man, the white man, all they want. Ahaya allowed this stuff to happen to us, and he giving us a chance to come back to him, and Israel is refusing, they don't even want to come back. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so we see in this wickedness as it's happening, as it's unfolding right before our eyes. And, you know, even still, most of us don't want to say it, because nobody wants to say anything you know, contrary to the children of Israel, like as if we so right and we so right and, you know, we ain't, we can't do them wrong. It's Israel and their wickedness of how we got into the situation and it's Israel and our wickedness is how, while we remain in this situation. People just refuse to turn to Ahia. They refuse to come back. And I'm talking about the ones who are asleep and the ones who who are waking up to this truth and Israel, Israel and Israelites who know the truth. They refuse. It's, it's always some level of rebellion with Israel. They never listen to the Most High. They never fully submit to the Most High. And this is how we got into this. People even, they know the truth and they still won't come out of Babylon. They know that destruction is coming to Babylon and they still won't pack their bags and get out and leave. And these are Israelites who know the truth. Is rebellion. It's like witchcraft to a higher. The, Israel, the Hebrew Israelites, Israel has always sinned against a higher. On, from, from every small thing to every big thing. Never listened to the Most High. Always rebelled. Never could just listen to what the Most High said. And this is why the Most High has always had to chastise Israel. This is why we went into captivity three and four times, serving other nations, all because of our wickedness. 
on Israel. People don't want to hear you say stuff like that. You can't talk about the man. You can't talk about how wicked the sisters are. You can't talk about how wicked Israel is as a whole. People get an attitude. Then you wrong. You're this. You're that. You're Jezebel. You're this. You're that. Every problem because you cannot speak and tell these Israelites to their face how wicked they are. And why we always constantly have to go through the same judgment of the Most High over and over again is because our wickedness, we refuse. I'm looking. I'm watching. And it's amazing. And it's like, well, who is she? Why she always got to be the verifier? Yes, I'm verifying. I'm verifying the, the word of Ahia. This is what he said, this is why he said it, and this is why he's doing it, and this is why it's coming to pass right now. It's because of the wickedness on Israel, refusing to come back to Ahia and do what the Most High said. He said, come out of her, my people. You see the wickedness. People are on on YouTube reporting over and over, oh, this is happening, this is happening, oh, this is happening, oh, this is happening. And they refuse to leave. Refusal to obey a higher. I don't care how good you try to make things look and how great you try to act like, oh, we're coming together. You're coming together in the wrong place. You're disobeying the most high. And you're going to get ch um, chastised for it. Praise the higher. Bajim and Jaya. He's going to chastise the wickedness on Israel because of the refusal to listen. He said, they obey me with their mouths, but their hearts are far from me. Why? Because the Most High said, come out of her, my people. Wickedness, judgment is coming. Get out, get out, get out. This is what Ahia had warned and has commanded Israel to do. And Israel refused to listen. They want everything easy. You want everything your way. If it's not going, you know, how you feel it should go, then this is, you know. And then you're going to cry out to the Most High and be like, wah, Most High, wah, wah. Because of your refusal to be obedient to Ahia is why when this judgment hits and you're caught right in the middle of it, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. So, and you know, which leads me to the wickedness. Like I told you, I'm talking about how these brothers is killing these sisters. They done brought on mass destruction against the daughters of Israel. The daughters of Zion are being preyed upon by our brother, our protectors. Not even thinking or even caring to be a protector. Like, now let me give you another for the instance. There's a... A lot of brothers who have woke up to this truth know that they got to come out. They see the destruction coming. They're talking about it. They're making videos about it. They will not pack up their wives and their children and get them out of harm's way. They refuse. And let me take it a step further. A lot of these brothers have criminal records. They can't get passports. They cannot travel. So... They, they know they can't travel, but they won't say nothing to the sisters about it. They can't travel, so they can't leave Babylon. They would not pack up their wives and family and send them off to safety. Their seeds, their children, they won't do it. They'll have their wives sit in Babylon with them, waiting on destruction like, baby, we got to die together. She's all, I'm not going to leave you, boo. I'm not going to leave you, boo. But the scripture says, every man must save his own soul. So these brothers would allow these sisters to stay in Babylon and be destroyed. Just so that you don't leave me. They don't even care about saving their own seeds and their wives and children. They ain't thinking like that. They don't care. They, so there's, and this is another instance of our men. Killing the daughters of Zion. 
because they refuse to send their wives off without them and say, go to safety, go seek out the land. I can't do it, baby, but you can do it. Go do this. Take care of the family. They won't do it. They'll have these sisters sit in Babylon and get destroyed along with them. The same, for instance, where you got these brothers now killing their wives, taking their own lives. They shooting their wives. They killing the kids or letting the kids watch. And they'll kill themselves. It's like a demonic, demonic spirit going on. And nobody ain't saying nothing about it. And, you know, and, excuse me, it's hot. I don't, I don't want to cut the fan on because it's the air, it's, the sound is very loud. So, this is what's going on. Nobody ain't saying nothing. It's so wicked, and the sisters is going along with it, acting like they so being virtual, <laughs> making you, they making these sisters feel like they're being virtuous <laughs> by sitting around. They making these sisters feel like they're being virtuous and righteous, Proverbs 20, 31 women, <laughs> by sitting there dying in destruction. When Ahia said, come out of her, my people. The Most High said, come out of her, my people. Let every man save his own soul. And you sitting in there, try to act like you holy and righteous, going to Passover, all this stuff. When you ain't doing nothing but offending Ahia, and you will die in Babylon, and you ain't, will not see his salvation in his kingdom. You will not. Because you are, you are definitely going against Ahia, Asha Ahia, Bahashin Ishaya, and not listening to his words. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, brothers and sisters, who are in delusional state, thinking that you, you, Ahia is with you when you are disobedient, and you are not listening, and you do not care. Jacob's trouble is upon Israel. Why? Because of wicked disobedience that they won't listen and regard what the Most High said in his scriptures. Everybody's trying to account for their own righteousness and try to act like what they're doing is so righteous. A higher said, come out of her people. Brothers are stuck there because of whatever reason, they cannot travel. A lot of them. Uh, now, I have... I've, there's people who coming out of Babylon. I, you know, I'm talking to people, meeting people who are leaving. There are some people, but I'm mainly talking about the people who are calling on a higher, because those are the people that Satan is at war with. There's a war going on for the 144,000. The righteous are at war with Satan. So they got. People telling you, talking to you a certain way, sweet talking to you with the violins and acting like, oh, oh, kumbaya, we're all in this together. But you're in the wrong place, and Ahaya is not with you there. So, no matter how good it looks, how great the stroke of the painter's brush is, and how pretty the picture appears, Ahaya is not there, and he's not with you. He said, come out of her. Destruction is coming. So you see the destruction coming. So which brings me to, you know, people are talking about now the food shortages. So I just ran across this video of this brother talking about how he went to the store. Now, it's really a funny video, but it's sad. It's a sad video because, you know, he's not awake, you know, but he is throwing up some Illuminati hand signs. He's throwing up those, that the 6-6 six, six hand signs. So he knows something, okay? And, uh, but he's acting like he's oblivious. He doesn't know, like he's not awake. So he goes to the supermarket and he wants to buy some things. And he, he packs his cart up with pork, y'all. He, he found some pork on sale. And so he wants to go buy some pork. Uh, must be a whole lot. I'm gonna put the description, I'm gonna put the link in the description box of this video. Just brother, cause it's funny. Cause it's sad of how, Israel is just out of the loop. You know, it's sad that his brother is not awakened. But, I, like I said, he is throwing up some hand signs, so he knows something. And it's obvious hand signs. It ain't just like, oh, he's doing it by mistake. You know, miss me with that, okay? So, he goes, throws up his cart, 
and he starts to check out with the self checkout, and all of a sudden all the security and this and this and this came in. So he's trying to figure out why, you know, why they stopping him, and it's because he's buying a whole lot of of one item, which happened to be pork. <laughs> you know, I can't make this up. You know, Israel is asleep. They sleep walking the Walking Dead, and they just cannot. They ain't getting it. And, okay, and Esau is bringing down the hammer on them, right, you know, real time, and they don't even realize it. So they're trying to stop him from buying all this food, and they stop and question him, and it's because he wants to buy too much of one item, right? He's trying to store up, right? He knows to do that, but he's still asleep. <laughs> And, but it is pork at that. You know, breaking the highest laws, don't even want to come back to the laws, nothing. None of that. Like oblivious. Most high is not waking these people up. And people are just going through it, going through it, and they reporting it. They, they making videos about it. You know, to their own detriment and their own demise. So of course I'm gonna leave a message on his channel and tell him that he needs to get out of Babylon. But I know it's pointless. You know, people ain't trying to hear it. They ain't trying to leave great America. They're not trying to leave America. That place is their glory. Because you know why it's their glory? Because they're not with a higher. They have no love for a higher. They love who they're clinging to. Just like they said, where your heart is, where you spend your money, that's where your heart is. Exactly. You sitting in Babylon, buying stuff, celebrating, keeping the feast days, doing this and that in Babylon, that's where your heart is. And it's not with the higher. I don't care how many prayers the higher as you do. I don't, I don't care how many uh, prayers you do in Hebrew. You ain't with him and you never was with him. Because you're sitting in the place where he told you to leave. Get out. Come out of her, my people. Most high warned you over and over. Christ warned you. Christ died so that you can make this move and you refuse. You sitting in Babylon trying to act like you don't know what's going on. And you know you know. It's wickedness, brothers and sisters, for you to be sitting in Babylon trying to act like you are a friend and you with the Most High. You're a liar. <laughs> You're a liar, and I'm telling you to your face, get out of Babylon. Most High said, come out of her. You spend your money, you, you participate where your heart is. So that means you are a child of Satan. That's your father. Don't call on the higher because you're destined, you don't care about a higher. You don't listen to a higher. You spend your money is where your heart is. Yes. So you sitting there, going to the store, buying and stocking on food there, all to worship Satan. Because you ain't worshiping the higher. He said your hearts are far, far from him. So stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to people. You're a hypocrite. This is a lie, and you need to stop, okay? It's, it stops right here, and I, I pray you share this video. Like and share it, and let everybody see Sister Connor straightly calling you to your face. You're a liar because you don't love him, and you need to stop. You don't love a higher. You in, you in Satan's land knowingly and willingly because that's who you serve. Your money is being spent where your heart, that's where your true heart belongs. You in Babylon because that's where you want to be. In the story, okay? So, I'm going to go into also Michael, um, no, LeBron James is now opening up a hospital. So, you know they use these stars and all these athletes and stuff as Illuminati puppets. And they're going to do the will of their father, who they serve as Satan. So, they're opening up hospitals now in their name and things like that. So, the children, they can usher the children of Israel in to be, you know, vaccinated when the next, you know, crisis come along. Which is, it's coming. And they're using these people who have, you know, vowed allegiance to Satan to take the children of Israel down. They don't care. They all they care about their money and how they can live lavishly. And they'll sell you and their mama and they, you see how they're killing their kids. Um, somebody, Master P, daughters died. <sighs> Who else? They do this stuff. They have to sacrifice their, you know, their close friends and family. So 
Master P, now his daughter is dead. Who recently? Oh, you see um, Bobby Brown now got this new uh, television show and the new edition tour. They went on tour. And you're wondering who sacrificed Whitney Houston. See, you have to watch and see who ends up, um, you know, gaining from the death of these people, right? They, they sacrifice these people for fame and fortune. So after, uh, Whitney Houston died, who, who, um, blew up after that? Ray J is all, all a millionaire. Even though he's not a singer, like he, you know, but he has this Ray Khan million dollar investments. He done come up since Whitney Houston's death. Him, right? So you want to see, you have to watch who blows up afterwards. Just like with, um, that rapper from California that everybody loved that passed away. I can't think of his name. But right after that, Jay-Z becomes a million, a billionaire. Right after he died, Nipsey Hussle. After that, he was, he had, did many projects with Jay-Z. He was actually supposed to meet Jay-Z at the police station to have a meeting that day when he died. And then right after that, Jay-Z becomes a billionaire. He got the NFL deal where he's, um, you know, in charge of the entertainment. So you have to watch the money of who blows up after these sacrifices right before our eyes. And everybody knows this stuff is going on and ain't nobody saying nothing. And now Master P, you know, who they reportedly, allegedly, and I'm saying all this allegedly, he um, goes broke or whatever. He was going broke or something. Now his daughter's gone. So we'll see him, you know, in the next couple of years how he blows up. It's, you can't make this stuff up. It's happening right before our eyes. Nobody's really saying anything about it. Everybody just, uh, just, you know. And, and it's right in your face. And you're trying to act like you don't see it. But it's okay. Okay. And then also Jay-Z recently, he's going to do a, a crypto academy, you know, to lull our people into buying crypto, to get them off the money grid and into the Satan um, system. So... You know, brothers and sisters, ah, you can't make this stuff up. You just, I'm just gonna just tell you how it is and like it is and pray that you hear me and you get yourself together. Um, nobody wants to, um, nobody wants to, you know, go through no trauma. Nobody wants to suffer, not even a little bit. Nobody wants to sacrifice, not even a little bit. So that's why nobody wants to come out of Babylon. Is it this? Is it that? What can I do? They want to live exactly how they live in America. And listen, I, this is why I'm, I created this channel. I told you entertainment and I told you travel to show you that you can. We can come out of Babylon and we can do things. Did I have to go through some things? There Were there many transitions? I had to pay my dues to the Most High. I had to prove to the Most High that I trusted Him. I went through a lot of things, brothers and sisters, and it wasn't easy. So I'm not saying that it's going to come out of Babylon, that it will be totally easy. But it can be. It, it don't have to be hard. Because first you have to trust the Most High. First you have to stand on your faith with Him. And your, your, your trial doesn't have to be the same as my trial. But the Most High is able. He can do all things, brothers and sisters. But is your trust at the right level? Can you, do you have faith in the Most High to know that He's going to take care of you regardless? Do you have that kind of faith? Because from what I see, no. Everybody wants to come out. And then, or a lot of people talking about they want to come out and go straight to the wilderness. Knowing that they are not ready. I don't see people completely fall apart. <laughs> Lost all sense of everything. Just going into an apartment near the wilderness. And it's still in an apartment, but because it ain't what they used to have. And they're talking about, oh, I was homeless before. And, oh, I could do this. And, oh, I'm ready to go to the wilderness. As soon as they get anywhere near the wilderness, you go a day without having some running water, you freaking out. So people come out and tell me, oh, I'm ready to go to the wilderness. And, oh, I lived in Africa. But you can't be cold for four days. 
without you freaking out. Because you lived in a hut in Africa, but you come out and there's some cold day. Now you're cold. Look, look how the most I test you. Some people coming out, they're coming from a warm cli- warmer climate, like, say, Miami. Right? So now you come in to the Middle East, and there's, there's winter here. You can't handle that alone. That's the kicker. That's where you draw the line, because you cannot be cold. And I'm somebody who don't like the cold, brothers and sisters. Please don't even talk to me about cold. But if you can't come out here and deal with some stuff, you ain't ready. So oh, I want to go. I want to get me a tent and go. And you can't go without having some running water. What happens if you can't take a shower? I mean, what you going to do? What are you going to do? You got to wash your clothes by hand with just a little piece of soap oil. What, what you going to do? And I'm not saying it's like that because, look, clearly I'm showing you I have, I have an office. I'm about to do another situation with some business. You know, you have apartment, shower, water, bath, you no know, issues. But you're making a transition. <sighs> Our people. Let me see what else I want to talk about. Uh, yeah, the food shortage is, is, is real. You know, it's coming. Not every place yet, but it's coming. Brothers and sisters, what are you going to do? Then now they're going to stop you from even, okay, so you got a couple of months food stored up. But what happens after the month is finished? The three months that you got. So I just wanted to, you know, bring this out. I wanted to talk to brothers and sisters and, you know, just bring a little re- reality check because ain't nobody going to say nothing about this stuff, you know. And I give all glory and praise to a higher for just still, you know, keeping me, you know, focused enough. To speak on this stuff. But even though, you know, guys, we're on a preparation stage. We got to get ourselves together to be in a position to be able to help and support other people and ourselves. Okay? So, I'm urging brothers and sisters, get out of Babylon. You see the hammer coming down. There's food shortages now. They, you know, get out while you can. Okay? Get out while you can. I'm going to put that uh, link to the brother talking about the food shortages and just what happened to him. It's kind of abstract because he doesn't know, you know, that he, you know, or maybe he does. I don't know. You don't even know anymore with these people because you don't know what they're into. You see the, him doing up Illuminati hand signs. So something is going on. He knows something. And he, he knows to withhold certain information. So... You know, there's a lot of game playing. People are playing with people. They, they're acting like they're not, you know, they, you know, they're genuine, but they're not, you know. And there's a lot of fake pumping going on. There are people of fake and phony and they're playing with Israel. I urge you to get within the borders, get yourself to where you can sustain and live through what's about to come. They're going to bring down the hammer, brothers and sisters. Get out of Babylon. Okay? I give all glory and praise to Ahaya, Asha, Ahaya, Bahashim Yashaya, Wa, Kwadash, Wa. He warned you. Shalom.